This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you today. And what we're going to go over today is one very important question that I get a lot actually. Hey John, I'm getting into living in raw foods and what is the best juicer for somebody into living in raw foods? I know that you have many juicers available, but what is truly the best for somebody in the living in raw foods diet? So first, I could definitely say that I have much experience with the living in raw foods diet. I've been living on a living in raw foods diet uh, since 1995, and I've had during that time the time and opportunity to play with a lot of the different juicers that are available on the market to determine which is truly the best for somebody on a living in raw foods diet. Number one, because I live it and I know the needs of somebody on a living in raw foods diet. So, you know, there are many kinds of juicers, such as centrifugal juicers, which mainly just juice. They don't do the multi-purpose functions. And, you know, so those aren't too good for somebody on a living in raw foods diet. Another kind of juicer is maybe the champion juicer or a masticating juicer. Now, that may be pretty good, you know, for somebody on a living in raw foods diet because it will also homogenize and make banana ice cream or banana sorbet. And actually, it does it quite well because when you're making banana sorbet in the champion, it actually fluffs it up and makes it nice and fluffy. And the reason why it does that is because it adds extra air when you're processing the bananas. So many people like that texture of an ice cream. But the negative thing is when you're juicing with the champion, it also adds the air to your juice, which causes oxidation, which actually you know lessens the nutrient quality in the juice. In addition, the champion is not super effective at leafy greens and not effective at all at juicing wheatgrass without the uh, purchasing an additional attachment that is available. So for those reasons of all the juicers that I have tried, these two models are the juicers that I would recommend for somebody on a living in raw foods diet. And let me go ahead and introduce them. On this side we have the Green Star Elite Juicer. This is the GSE 5000. This is the latest revision in the Green Star uh, or Green Power juicers. So the Green Power Juicer originally came out in the 1990s. That was the Twin Gear Juicer. And then since that time, they've made the Green Star 1000, Green Star 2000, and Green Star 3000. And just recently, they came out with this model, the Green Star Elite 5000. And this truly is the best of all those different models. I have other videos on that if you want to check it out. Over on this side, we have the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. The Omega 8004 Nutrition Center is identical to the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center, except for the color. So the Omega 8006 has a nice uh, chrome plated uh, finish. And once again, it's not a stainless steel. It looks like it's stainless steel on the Omega 8006 because it's chrome plated, but it's chrome plated plastic. And it has black accents instead of the white accents. For that, you're gonna pay a little bit more money, but otherwise all the specifications, the motor and everything else, is the same except for the color so don't forget that so why do I choose these two machines for somebody on a living in raw foods diet is for one very simple reason because these machines uh, will juice leafy green vegetables especially the dark leafy green vegetables very well if, for example things like kale collards chard even things like sprouts sunflower green sprouts wheatgrass other things like that both these juicers will do that and I know the question you're answering is John which one does it better well hold your horses we'll get to that in a little bit but juicing greens is probably the most important thing that I have learned over all these years of being into a living and raw foods diet that you should be consuming greens have lots of basically micronutrients that are so good I mean it, it there's research that show broccoli sprouts and even compounds in broccoli itself can help to fight cancer and things like that so all the green vegetables and I encourage you to eat a variety of green vegetables so don't just always juice spinach juice some broccoli greens juice some cauliflower greens now I didn't say cauliflower or broccoli I said the greens because those are also juiceable and but you don't often find them unless you're growing them yourself or at a farmers market you know you want to juice all the obscure greens that sometimes are hard to find such as miners lettuce even things like chickweed and stinging nettles are so good to juice but all the dark leafy greens as wide a variety as you can. And these machines will juice leafy greens the best. And that's really the main thing about a living in raw foods. So you want to juice the greens above all else. And these two do it very well. So besides juicing leafy greens, another reason why I like these machines is because it has multi-function features. 
So, uh, you know, what that allows you to do is homogenize bananas into banana ice cream, which is 100% banana, so more appropriately, it's called banana sorbet, but people into raw foods called banana ice cream. You don't need to just take ripe bananas, you peel them, and then you'll have a peeled banana, you'll put it in a Ziploc bag or a Pyrex glass container in your freezer, you'll freeze them, and then on a hot summer day, nothing better than this on a hot summer day, you're gonna take them out, put them one at a time through the machine, and you're gonna put it in with a blank plate. So this is called the blank plate or the solid plate. This is the one for the Omega 8004 and 8006, and this is the one on the Green Star Elite Juicer. They're both solid so that they don't actually uh, make any juice, they just homogenize or crush everything up. And they do a great job at that. So both these machines work very similar uh, when they are homogenizing, they just crush things up. You could also grind things like coffee and make nut butters, which is another popular use. The, while these machines are very powerful and will grind up the nuts, if you are using peanuts, you will get a nut butter because in roasted peanuts, you have a high enough oil content that comes out so it sticks together. But in many raw nuts, including things like raw almonds, you'll put those through and you'll say, John, where's the nut butter? <laughs> and you're gonna get a nut flour. The reason for that is because uh, in raw almonds and many raw nuts, the oil content isn't high enough so that you can make a butter because what causes the butter is the oil content coming out to help it all stick together. So in that case, what you could do is basically take the almond meal that you've made and then actually feed it through the juicer a couple more times and it'll start to congeal a little bit, but it's never gonna look like the stuff you buy at the store. Um, you could also take some almond oil and add that to your almond meal, then it'll actually start to stick together. So that's another option. Another thing people do is they soak their nuts and put it through. And if you put soaked almonds through, then it has a higher moisture content, not necessarily oil content. So it will all stick together, but it's not going to be like a butter because it's not going to have that rich oily texture. Plus, if you add the water and do soak nut thing, then you've got to use that stuff within a few days. Otherwise, it can go bad. When you do just the dry nuts or the nuts with the oil, there's no moisture, so it won't mold like that. So in any case, these machines allow you to homogenize too, which I think is very important factor, uh, you know, in choosing a juicer in raw foods because it's very important that I've learned over the years in raw foods is to change the texture of the foods because then they actually taste better. And actually, in the case of the juicers where you're separating the fiber from the juice, you're going to get more nutrition in the juice and the, from the point of homogenizing just different vegetables. Say you don't want to chew your food like you're supposed to chew your food 50 times every mouthful. You could just use the blank plate in either of these machines, put all the food that you're going to eat, like for your salad, just put it through the machine and let it all crush it up so it's literally like a mush. I mean, that actually, that is a baby food and both these machines will do that. So you could actually eat baby food and you're going to get better digestion by using these machines to, to do that. So that's really cool that these machines allow you to do that, get a better digestion from your foods by using the blank plates. So that's another very important factor. Uh, when choosing a juicer and both these machines allow you to do just that. So we've already determined that these machines are the best for somebody into living in raw foods because they number one juice leafy greens the best, number two they will homogenize and make things like banana ice cream and actually you know you could use other fruits besides bananas. Oh man I've had like some pi frozen pineapples, frozen mangoes through there. Let me tell you that my favorite is frozen jackfruit through here and for those of you that have had jackfruit you'll know what I mean. Jackfruit tastes like Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. So, oh man, that is just out of this world to make 100% frozen jackfruit through here. Now, frozen jackfruit may be available at an Asian market near you. It is actually rather hard to find. In any case, the next thing we're going to talk about is the differences between these machines. Um, both these machines run at a low RPM and will do similar functions, but what's the main difference? Well, the first main difference is the price. This machine on this side, the Green Star Elite, is probably about double the price of the Omega 8004. So if price is a factor and you're on a budget, you might want to go with this one. <laughs> the next factor besides the price is the warranty. So the Green Star Elite has a full five-year warranty. And over on this side, the Omega 8004, also the 8006, which is the same as this model. Once again, only the color is different. It has a 15-year warranty. That's three times the warranty on the Green Star Elite. So for 15 years, if anything should break due to manufacturer's defect, it will be replaced under warranty at no cost to you. So remember, if five, ten years later, if the screen breaks, the blank breaks, call of Omega, I'm confident they, they will be around. They've been around actually longer than the Tribest company that has been making the 
green star elite juicer they'll be around to send you a new part to uh you know so you could continue on juicing and leading your healthy lifestyle the juicer in my opinion is a very important part of P uh, somebody on a raw foods that while you don't need it it's not critical it can be very beneficial and i would encourage everybody to get a juicer because you know it just breaks up the produce so that we could assimilate the nutrition in the produce much more effectively so besides the price and the warranty number three that's pretty big is the cleaning so to get into the cleaning and all that stuff let's go ahead and do it an assembly and disassembly to show you the parts that are involved how each machine works and you know how easy it is to clean so over here we'll go with the omega 8004 machine next we have a, a funnel piece here easy to take off and you know just clean up or actually you don't have to use it it makes thing, feeding things into the chute a little bit easier both machines have a pusher that I didn't bring out today and also both machines uh, you know the green star league comes with a glass collection cup and a strainer and the Omega 8004 comes with uh, two uh, plastic pitchers and also a strainer to strain your juice to make sure that you get a virtually pulp free juice which you know may be a concern to you you can drink the pulp in the juice it's not a big deal but some people like a pulp free juice next on the Omega 8004 we have the end cap and that's this piece right here just one single piece comes off once again this is really easy to clean normally I blast the hot water on the sink and take a scrub brush and scrub this out and all the pulp dislodges fairly easily off this also both these machines come with a handy dandy cleaning brush meant specifically for cleaning the screen which is the part coming out next so this is the juicing screen on the Omega 8004 machine you can see here the stainless steel juicing screen here and uh, that's stage number two stage number one is this screen so as the produce comes down on the initial crush that's uh, juicing stage number one where the juice is expelled and then uh, the pulp gets moved along and crushed up more then the more juices come comes out here then the pulp finally comes out the end next we have the auger on the Omega 8004 nutrition center this is a auger that's made out of GE Ultimate material eight times harder than other augers on other machines so that's why I like the Omega 8004 for the eight times harder auger now I did find or with an ex-girlfriend I found out a way that you can actually damage one of these because these are really strong you put this in the dishwasher on the bottom shelf and it actually falls through the bottom and if it lands on that heating coil this will this will melt <laughs> she did that so don't do that you know and actually talking about dishwashing while these machines can be dishwashed of course all the parts that come apart I don't recommend dishwashing your juicer juicers parts because you know you it, they can get damaged and once again those will not be covered under warranty if you do choose to use your parts in the dishwasher you want to put them on the top shelf with no heat that's that's the best recommendation I could give but once again when cleaning your juicers the big tip I could give is once you're done juicing immediately after you're done juicing wash the juicer off the, the basically all the carotenoids and the colors and the produce won't have time to sit and stain the juicer Plus, everything will be a little bit more softer because it, you're, just, you're just done juicing and all the liquids is still fresh and it's not starting to dry up and cake on. So here's the auger. The next part to clean on the Omega 8004, very simply, is the main body housing. This piece, once again, is very simple, very easy to clean. Once again, I just blast water through here and put a brush through there and you're cleaned up. So let's count the parts to clean. There's a one funnel, that's part number one, one end cap, part number two the main body part number three the auger part number four and the juicing screen part number five so there's five parts to clean on the Omega 8004 juicer so next let's go ahead and go over the green star elite juicer and go over the parts that you'll need to clean on that first you have the main uh, body cover that comes off this has a built-in safety switch that only will allow the juicer to come on if it's properly assembled next you have two snaps one on either side that you just snap off then you get this main housing right here and on this main housing you have what's called an outlet adjusting knob and that's the part I'm twisting off right now and you can see that there has a spring on it and this spring what this does is this keeps tension on the produce to keep it in there so that you get higher yields and on this machine there is no outlet adjusting knob it just basically is preset and just comes out at the uh, interval determined by the factory to obtain the highest yield so uh, once again that is two parts right here Next we have the juicing screen. So you can see here the juicing screen has a lot more 
screen area than the Omega 8004. So more screen area equals longer cleaning time because the screen area is absolutely the hardest part to clean on any juicer because pulp will get stuck in the screen. You'll have to sit there and scrub it on the outside, scrub it on the inside. And that's why I like the 8004 screen. You know, there's very minimal surface area on the screen. So once again, here is the screen. Next, you'll have two twin gears. Now on these twin gears, uh, it, they're nice and long. These are the longest twin gears uh, for the Green Star juicers. And this is a three-stage juicer. So the first stage is the crushing stage when the produce gets goes in there. And this basically works like, uh, you know, gears in a transmission of a car for the guys that have seen that. Basically, you're feeding the produce in here. And if you're feeding leafy greens, they literally get sucked in and they literally get squeezed between the gears. So as it's squeezed, then the, then the produce gets goes down the gears to the next stage, which is this section right here. This is called the mixing or rubbing stage when whatever was, has been in the juicer is now rubbed or mixed together. And finally, this section of the gears is the uh, juicing or a pressing stage where the juice is literally pressed out of the juicer. So once again, we'll put those down. And next you have the uh, body of the juicer here, uh, the housing on the Green Star Elite Juicer. So let's go ahead and count up the parts that you need to clean on the Green Star Elite Juicer. Once again, we have the housing here, part one, this part, two, three, four, five, six, and seven parts. So there's seven parts, so that's two extra parts to clean on the Green Star Elite Juicer. Then the Omega 8004 Juicer. So next, I'm going to show you how to assemble both these machines and how easy it is. It really is really simple, but with the Green Star Elite, you do need to pay some attention when assembling. So first, we're going to grab the two twin gears, and on each of these gears, this gear has two dots. If you see that, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. This gear has one dot, and you want to form a triangle out of the dots because these gears are meant to line up in a certain way. Now, if you just put the gears together in any particular way, they may not be lined up and you know, your machine's not gonna work properly and you can damage these gears and these gears are actually quite expensive to replace. So we're gonna line up these gears, make the uh, triangle, then we could take these gears and put it into the machine just like that. They kind of rotate in there. Then you're gonna put the uh, body housing on there. This just slides all the way back. You're gonna put the juicing screen on. That goes in very simply. Just put the juicing screen on like that. So next you're gonna go ahead and take this housing and you're going to want to make sure you put the outlet adjusting knob in there. So this outlet adjusting knob has a white tip. They also have another option available called the uh, fruit attachment. And for a limited time, Discount Juicers is including the fruit attachment when you buy the Green Star Elite Juicer from us. The fruit attachment has a different color end cap or end tip, and it has a softer spring tension. And what this allows is this allows fruit or fruits that are softer uh, basically to push out of the machine. This spring has a hard tension and it's meant for juicing vegetables. So if you're juicing fruits with this attachment, what will happen is the fruits will clog up and the machine will back up on you. So you really need to use the other attachment for optimal uh, juicing when you're juicing soft fruits. Now if you are juicing vegetables and fruits together, such as apples with carrots, then you would use this attachment because the carrots will provide the hard fiber to push the pulp of the apples out. So we're going to go ahead and screw this one all the way in there. Once you have that screwed in, you're just going to slide it on here. You're going to latch this side. There's one latch, and you're going to latch this side uh, just like that. Then you take the top and put it on. No big deal. On the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center, very simple, very easy. We're going to grab the main body housing. On the top here, there's a collar. It says open and close. It's going to be on open. You're going to put it in there, slide it over to close. Next, you're going to take the auger and just put that in the machine. Slides into place. Next, you're going to take your juicing screen, put that in the machine, slides into place. Next, you're going to take your end cap, put that on the machine, slides into place. And next, put your <laughs> funnel on there, and you're all ready and assembled to go. So as you can see, it was much easier and quicker to assemble the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center than the Green Star Elite Juicer. So next, let's talk about how user-friendly both these machines are. So first, we'll talk about the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. Basically, this machine is you put it together, you plug it in, you turn it on, and you start juicing. <laughs> there is a reverse on the machine in case something should get clogged up and it should stop. You can hit the momentary reverse to back it up and then hit forward again to get things going back through. But there are no settings that you need to set on the machine. 
Once again, on the Green Star Elite, they do have a forward and a reverse on it. But there is one thing that you may have to be concerned about when juicing in the Green Star Elite. So the thing that you may want to be concerned about is right underneath this housing here, and we just talked about it. That is the outlet adjusting knob. That's this guy right here that screws all the way in. Now, the problem can arise if you're trying to juice fruits. So once again, you'd want to use the softer outlet adjusting knob. And even sometimes when juicing vegetables, this is one of those things like when you first rode a bike, you kind of had to figure out how the bike works so you didn't fall over. Same thing with this juicer. You know, there is what's called a learning curve, and I have an excellent video on the learning curve of juicers, so be sure to look that video up if you haven't already seen it. But basically, with this machine, you'll have to put this all the way in, and if things start backing up, you start seeing it come back up the chute, then you got to loosen this off a little bit, then you might have to, you know, tighten it back up. So that can be something to play with, and if you're like a, one of those no-hassle people, you just don't want to hassle, you don't have to think about things, you know, this would be the better machine on this one the reason for this part once again is to get a higher yield so if you want a higher yield then this might be the machine for you another thing about usability is the way the machines get produce fed into them on the Omega 8004 nutrition center basically you'll need to put the produce in there and then use the pusher to you know use gentle force to push the produce in the machine something like leafy greens will kind of get sucked in the machine on their own or if you don't have to use a pusher if you chop everything up into small cubes feed it in the machine then you won't have to push things into this machine now on the green star elite juicer um, if you're juicing leafy greens they definitely get sucked into the juicer no problem at all but if you want to juice something like carrots on carrots you'll have to put them in the machine and use the pusher and definitely use some downward strength to push them into the machine and that can actually increase the time it takes to juice because you're literally having to push the carrots in between those two gears that are rolling around. So if you're old, have arthritis, or aren't that strong, you know, you might want to look at a different juicer than the Green Star Elite. So the Omega 8004 might be better in your situation. So again, on the usability, the uh, cleaning factor is also a usability issue. I would estimate the Green Star Elite takes probably about three times as long. Now that may sound like it's long, but you know, keep in mind that the Omega 8004, in my opinion, is the easiest juicer in the world to clean. This baby takes me a minute and a half to clean. I am rather fast, but so it might take you under two minutes to clean. But this guy is probably going to take you about three times that, you know. So from one and a half minutes to four and a half or five minutes on this guy, you know, and depending on how fast you are and how efficient you are when cleaning the machine. Also on usability, something I, you know, might want to mention too is the weight of these machines. So this juicer is fairly heavy but this machine is even heavier <laughs> so that may make a difference to you another thing regarding usability is the size it takes up so once we put this top on here you could see this machine is significantly longer than this guy so if you don't have a lot of counter space that might be a consideration for you you could see here this guy is definitely a couple inches longer and a little bit wider as well this machine is a little bit more compact so that'll do it for usability. The next thing we're gonna talk about is juicing wheatgrass. So yes, both machines advertise that they can juice wheatgrass, but one of them will actually juice wheatgrass more effectively than the other. So I'll come right out with it. The Omega 8004 will more effectively juice wheatgrass than the Green Star Elite Juicer. So if you wanna juice a high percentage of wheatgrass or a lot of wheatgrass, then this would definitely be the machine for you. Why does the single auger style juicer juice wheatgrass more effectively than the twin gear juicer? Well, it's for one very simple reason. When Ann Wigmore originally commissioned them to make the first single auger style juicer for wheatgrass, the design was from a meat grinder. <laughs> yes, you heard that right, a meat grinder. So they basically took a meat grinder and modified it to have a single auger that was longer to juice specifically wheatgrass. And this juicer design stems from that single auger design and that's why it's much more efficient at juicing wheatgrass and will create less foam than the Green Star Elite Juicer. While we're talking about wheatgrass, we might as well also talk about leafy greens. So if you want to juice straight up leafy greens with no other fruits or vegetables included, you know, and some people want to do that, that I, I recommend when you're an advanced raw fooder because straight green juice can be very powerful, very detoxifying, and you know, some people may get sick because it's just too hardcore for them and they're not ready for it. So. In most cases, I recommend that somebody starts with juicing three quarters of the glass of 
other fruits and vegetables and one quarter of the glass of leafy greens. I have an excellent video on, you know, creating your own basically green juice recipes. And so check YouTube for that. That's an excellent video as well to learn how to create your own leafy green vegetable juices, you know, using one of these two machines. Basically, the Omega 8004 in my test has yielded more juice with less foam than the Green Star Elite juicer. Now, once again, that being said, this is when I'm juicing straight up leafy green vegetables with no other fruits or vegetables added in. That being said, if you want to juice a lot of carrots or cucumbers or celery, that's where the table gets turned on the Omega 8004 and that's where the Green Star Elite is going to rule. Because of the outlet adjusting knob on the Green Star Elite, it basically extracts a higher yield out of things like carrots, celery, cucumbers, and apples than the Omega 8004. So with every juicer, there are pros and cons. And I'm, giving, I'm making this video so that you can see and hear the pros and cons of each machine and decide which machine is best going to meet your needs because that's what it's, it is all about. And I have over 200 videos now on YouTube explaining the pros and cons of all the different style juicers on the market so that you can make the best and most informed decision because that is my job to ensure that you get a juicer that you not only buy but you will use it every single day to make a positive impact on your health and build extremely good health in the long run so next let's talk about how these machines juice fruits now first before I talk about how these machines juice fruits I have to give the disclaimer that I believe Fruits are best eaten whole or blended in the blender and not necessarily juiced. The exception for me would be apples in my green juices to give it a little bit of extra sweetness and higher water content and make it taste better. I may also juice some a little bit of a citrus sometimes like some lemon in my vegetable juices as well which will act as a preservative because it has citric acid in there and also will give it a little bit of nice flavor as well. But why do I say that fruits should be blended or eaten whole and not juiced it's for one simple reason it's the fiber all fruits contain fiber and when we eat the fruits with the fiber the fiber acts to slow down the absorption of the sugar into our bloodstream now of course any freshly made fruit juice in your juicer is way better than you know a pasteurized juice from the store and much better than you know a diet coke or a soda that you would buy so, you know, it's always, in my opinion, good, better, best. If you're transitioning off diet sodas or sodas and making fresh fruit juice, that's much better. You know, I would definitely approve, but if you're hardcore and, you know, want to go the furthest you can, then I would recommend blending up your fruits, like with the Vitamix or the Blendtec blender. Check the other videos for a comparison of those two machines. They're, they're the best blenders on the market, in my opinion you would blend those fruits up instead of juicing them. But once again, if you're at the level and the point in your life where you're just transitioning off Coke and you're doing good to drink in fruit juices, hey, that's great. I rarely juice fruits, but I do do it sometimes because it is nice and fun. And when I have a lot of fruit to use up and I can't eat it as fast, I'll usually actually juice them or actually blend them up. So we've already covered how well these juicers yield on certain produce items. So overall on the yield, Besides the leafy greens, I definitely would have to say the Green Star Elite is going to yield more. But besides just yield, it's also about nutrient quality or which machine makes a higher nutrient quality. Now, to be upfront, I haven't seen any specific studies that compare these two machines, you know, with a scientific lab analysis of the juices that are created. But basically, being in this industry for a long time, I could definitely tell you my thoughts and my beliefs on this subject. If I had to pick one of these two machines that created a higher nutrient quality juice, I'd have to pick the Green Star Elite Juicer for a few reasons. Number one, it has a three-stage juicing. So it basically emulates a Norwalk juicer and how a Norwalk juicer would work. And Norwalk's, you know, one of the highest quality juicers. And once again, those machines are like $2,500. So, you know, these are, this is like one-tenth the price of a Norwalk and this one's, you know, much less as well and you're gonna get high quality juice but the Green Star Elite Juicer in my opinion and from some of the reports I have seen produces a higher quality juice how much higher well I don't know exactly because I haven't seen studies but maybe it's that much higher maybe it's that much higher but it's definitely higher so if you want to no holes barred and you want the highest quality juice you don't care about the cleaning time that is gonna take longer and you want the highest yield 
guess what? This is the machine for you. And I'm glad that there's all different kinds of juicers because it gives you options. So another reason why the Green Star Elite juicer will have a higher nutrient quality is for two reasons. Because it incorporates some technologies to get the most out of the produce, the most nutrients out of the produce. It incorporates far infrareds and magnetics to basically pull more nutrients, and that's what they say, out of the produce. Now the question you might ask me is, hey John, does that stuff really work? Well, you know, I've done some research on that and I believe it works. And you know, I've seen studies that show it works, but some people are a little bit freaked out about magnetics and all this other stuff in their juice. Well, you know what, the earth is magnetic. We are creatures of magnetics. And so I think it's only good. But if you are concerned about magnetics and that it might affect the juice in a negative way, guess what? Then you want to go with this machine. <laughs> if you think all that stuff's cool, I mean, they have bracelets that you wear with magnetics that, you know, are helping people with arthritis and all this kind of stuff. So I don't know, is it good or bad? You decide. I believe it's probably good or at least not harmful, which is actually very important. So that's why the Green Star Elite probably basically makes a higher quality juice. Another thing that can play a factor in the juice quality is the RPMs or revolutions per minute. That's how fast the juicer runs. So the Green Star Elite juicer uh, is rated at 110 RPMs and the Omega 8004 juicer is rated at 80 RPM. So that's definitely a slower RPM. So in that case, the Omega would have the advantage, but with the, all the other technology, I still think the Green Star Elite comes out on top on the nutrition aspect. So next, let's talk about total juicing time. You know, say you're always busy and late to work and you know, you gotta run to work, but make your juice before you leave. John, which juicer is gonna take me less time to juice and to clean? Well, it depends what you're juicing. If you're juicing straight up leaves, the Green Star Elite's probably gonna be faster because it literally sucks in the leaves. But if you start juicing things like carrots and apples, then you literally gotta press, the, press them into the juicer and it does take some townward force and it, and it basically chews off little pieces at a time whereas the Omega, while it doesn't chew off super huge pieces, it chews off a little bit bigger pieces and you don't need to put as much downward force. Plus the Omega is gonna take less time to clean. So in that case, I'd have to give it to the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center if you wanna save time and use the least amount of time when juicing. Another question that often comes up for these machines are, hey John, do these machines make raw pasta? <laughs> well, I'm sorry to say that these machines will not, let me repeat that, will not make a raw pasta. The Green Star Elite has a pasta making attachment that you can buy separately that will make a cooked pasta. And basically when, it, when I say that, all you do is you have to pre-mix the dough, put it through the machine, and it will extrude the pasta out into the pasta shapes. That being said, the Omega will also do that. And here's some of the pasta knobs or attachments that get attached onto this. Basically, you can see the holes on this attachment. And once again, this only extrudes basically grain-based pastas uh, once you make the dough and put it through. So it doesn't make the raw pasta. If you want to make the raw pasta, we sell several appliances. I have several videos on that. Look up Spiral Slicer or Saladaco or Julian Slicer on the website under the specialty goods. Uh, we have several machines that will basically make long threads or spaghetti-like noodles out of hard, firm vegetables such as zucchinis. Okay, so lately one of my favorite things to do in the Omega juicer and actually the Green Star Elite juicer is to juice the mature coconut meat. So if you juice the mature coconut meat, you'll basically get a coconut cream. And boy, that stuff is out of this world. It's, it's, it's really delicious and really good. Both these machines will do that function. The other thing I have done is take that coconut meat, add it to 32 ounces of water, blend it in the Vitamix or Blendtec blender, and then you can actually take that mixture and pour it through the machine and the machine will basically extract the coconut milk and leave you with the dry fiber. So I really like both these machines for doing that purpose. And in my tests, this machine, the Green Star Elite Juicer, is more effective and it gets a much drier pulp than the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. Another aspect when buying a juicer to consider is how much will I use that juicer? So if you're a type A personality and you like okay, I'll do whatever it takes, I want the highest quality juice, I don't mind the cleaning, then this guy might be your juicer. But if you're like the most of us, and me included, you know, I own both these machines, and most of the time, this machine actually sits on the shelf unless I'm using it for some testing purposes, or, you know, I want to try it out and use it on something because this machine is not doing good. For most of my time in the kitchen, I choose the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. 
that's because I am a type A personality, but I'm also the type B where, you know, if something's really hard, complicated to clean and use, I'm not going to use it. You know, I just like this because I could plug in, put my stuff in, it juices really easy, and it cleans really fast. So it's not a detractant because even if you buy, like, the best juicer, what happens is you could buy the best juicer, but it sits on your counter, and then it's not doing you and or me a favor because I didn't do my job to get you the juicer that you're going to use the most. Because using your juicer the most is the most important thing you can do in a raw and living foods diet, in my opinion. So my pick overall is the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center or 8006 Nutrition Center just because of the overall ease of use. And it is catered towards what I juice in the juicer. I tend not to juice a whole lot of carrots. I'll juice some heirloom carrots sometimes that don't have a high sugar content. But most of my juices are green-based juices. So I juice lots of leafy greens from my garden uh, that's that's usually part of the juice plus another part of the juice is either something like romaine hearts cucumbers or celery and maybe some apples and both these juicers will do fine with that combination but the easiest one to use for me is the omega 8004 nutrition center so hopefully after watching this episode you've learned more about the omega 8004 nutrition center which is the same as the omega 8006 just the color is different and the green starly gse 5000 juicer once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.